as gods of light and goodness, why are you in death's realm overseeing the execution of Helga? There is Helga in red, a Valkyrie, surrounded by Euler, Zeus, and Artemis. Helga, how could you? Ooh, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we have a brand new story for you guys made by one of you amazing people called How Helga Becomes a Valkyrie. It seems that Helga has gone missing. The first part of our story about how Helga becomes a Valkyrie says it seems that in the middle of the battle, Helga was captured. So here we are on the good side and there is a harpooner back here. I think he's the one that's supposed to capture Helga but I may have accidentally put a whole bunch of sword casters in the way. Sorry, sorry. It doesn't matter, guys. Helga's going to get captured. That's fine. Now, here is the battle. We have our new best buddy of Larry, Mr. Death. We have Bjorn, Helga's father. We have Benny, Larry's best friend. And then obviously, Mr. Larry himself. And in front of them is Bjorn's army, defending them from the evil pirate faction. Check these guys out. You've got bomb sticks in the front, cannons on the outside, a little bit terrifying, pistols, and the blunderbusses here on the outside. You have bomb throwers, you have captains, you have Mr. Blackbeard and Mrs. Pirate Queen and clams in the back we must get through this level to proceed to the next one and remember helga gets captured in three two one activate the fight berserkers leap in get into the back line please destroy these clams don't let them go any further bombs are being thrown but they're being thrown everywhere and pirates are being destroyed by friendly fire friendly flyer which is like friendly fire this um harpooner that was supposed to like kidnap helga sorry the sword is back here and the Sorcasters did their job. Helga is technically fine, but we know at the end of the story, she is captured by the enemy. Brawl is moving in on the cannons. Do the cannons get a chance to fire? Yes, they do, but friendly fire destroys all the cannons. The pirates are being absolutely swarmed by the Sorcasters who are coming in and throwing their blades. Isn't having death as a best friend the best thing anyone could ever ask for, guys? Death brings the best fighters to the fight especially these Sorcasters who are now skewering poor Blackbeard who jumped in and demolished a bunch of the Sorcasters. But little does he know that they have a lot of swords and those swords never run out. And poor Blackbeard is becoming a pincushion. He's dead, guys. Bjorn moves in on the last handful of units. Larry offering potion support. Just, just, just don't turn them into zombies, Larry. Whatever you do, don't turn them into zombies. And death, um... Mr. Death, sir, you can move your scythe away from the tree. I understand that you're kind of hooked on there, but you can actually like lift it around and get off the tree. One barrel rider who is surviving thanks to his barrels blocking the swords. It's actually amazing how much HP he has. The barrels are blocking every sword throw. Though logically, if you actually look in there, the swords are going through the barrels and piercing him. But I understand that the barrels are meant to block swords. I get it. If any other unit, if any other unit can come over here and just fight this barrel guy because the swords aren't working. <laughs> okay, hold on. We might force him to drown. There we go. We forced him. <laughs> That's so dumb. In the next chapter of our Helga turning into a Valkyrie story says, it seems that Helga has found herself in some strange place. But this is where Helga will be blessed. We are here in the world of death. Death himself Terrain Helga is in the middle of a ring of ice archers and Zeus and Artemis and Euler. What are you guys doing here? Why are you overseeing this? Why are you in death's realm as gods of light and goodness? Why are you in death's realm overseeing the execution of Helga? I am beyond confused, guys. Well, the problem is Helga is blue and we are team red and to progress with the story, we have to defeat Blue. We have to let Blue die, which means Helga is about to be executed in three, two, one, go. Slow motion, Helga trying to flee her fate of becoming a Valkyrie, but arrows in every direction as she dodges all of them and headbutts an archer dead. She actually headbutted this archer and this other archer took some friendly fire. That was really funny. Our story continues to the kingdom of King Philip Larry goes to King Philip to ask where Helga is. King Philip refuses and attacks. 
So here we are, the lovely army of Bjorn and Death here to support Larry and Benny in their quest to find Helga. They don't know where she is. They don't know that she has been converted into a Valkyrie and killed by Zeus of all people, which is a weird thing to happen. And the armies of Death and Bjorn are ready to fight King Philip's armies. Why King Philip puts the bards in the front? Probably not a good strategy. Other Bennies. Well, not really other Bennies. There's no, there's no bard like Benny. Benny is the best bard on the planet. Benny best bard. Benny best bard. Then we have knights. We have some cavalry on the outside. Squires. We have executioners. I did not know King Philip was so brutal. And why does King Philip enlist foreigners into his army? Look at these Vlad the Impalos, these Russians. What is English King Philip doing with the Russians in his side? Not to mention where he found the tree giants. Let's not even talk about those. That's crazy. He has tree giants in his kingdom and then healers and catapults and archers in the rear. This is going to be a crazy fight. Might require some god powers. We'll see what happens. I've got a little gift for the catapults in three, two, one, go. Catapults got shot and now they're going into the air. Look at the beautiful balloons. Isn't that pretty? Oh, the healers are healing this tree giant. That's going to be awkward. The cavalry charges in and death sends them flying. The sword casters are swarmed. There is so much death already and the fight has barely started. The sword casters are going to have a hard time with the knights. Those shields are going to be an absolute pain in the behind, but luckily there might just be enough swords to ignore the shields and to fight through them. The Russian Vlads are in there with their giant tree trunk spears skewering, absolutely skewering little berserkers, but luckily again, the sword casters, probably my favorite ranged unit in the game, are moving in. Here comes Death leading the charge with Bjorn hot on his heels, coming in on the tree giants that are being healed by the healers. Tree giants moving in, they are smushing death and smushing, but luckily the sword casters are throwing swords like a madman. Death takes one blow from the tree giant, shakes it off. He still seems to be okay. Bjorn on his heels. Never thought you'd see Bjorn and death on the same side, but here we are, desperate times and desperate measures because the Vikings aren't very fond of the God of death himself, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. The death God just got wrecked. The God of Death just got destroyed. A tree giant got flung way into the distance, destroyed by Death's black hull, hence the black coloring of our tree giant friend. There are not a lot of armies left. Benny, good old Benny leading the charge. Aren't you brave? Way too brave for a Benny. Handful of Swordcasters still alive. Handful of Ice Archers still alive. Bjorn leading the charge, being shot like crazy while the archers climbing over the corpse of the tree giant. Bjorn gets in. Did Bjorn just go down? Nope, Bjorn's alive. He's just kind of flopping over the catapults there. Ice archers taking out these archers. Swordcasters taking out the archers. Bjorn acting as the meat shield, taking an arrow in the shoulder, an arrow in the elbow. Bjorn is down. God might need to step in, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. God stepping in. <laughs> balloon arrows from the I don't know why I'm choosing balloon arrows but they're just fun I do love me a good balloon arrow there's something funny about making these archers fly into the sky there we go we barely won by the skin of our teeth and we move on in our story to discover how Helga becomes a Valkyrie now we end up on the tribal map guys Larry goes to the tribe but gets a fight and inside this cave oh my goodness, what is going on inside this cave, guys? Oh, there are people in here like crazy. <laughs> There's even more people, including cheerleaders. Why does the tribe have cheerleaders? We have raptor riders. We have chieftains. We have bone mages. We have spear throwers. We have clubbers. We have shielders. More raptor riders. Two mammoths and boulder throwers. This is going to be a fight to end all fights. Luckily, Bjorn has brought out the big gun. Bjorn has enlisted the help of the ice giants that live deep in the mountains of Bjorn's territory. He's also brought his trusty ice archers, and Death has brought his sword throwers and his catapults to try and add a little extra oomph to the fight. And here we go in three, two, one. Activate the fight moves on. Ice giants moving in. The raptors are going for the ice giants. All the units are going for the ice giants because they have just the most vicious taunt ability you've ever seen for some reason everything wants to fight an ice giant and the ice giant just pounded through all those raptor riders here comes the mammoth in on the ice giant pumpkin catapults doing their job sword casters doing their job luckily this isn't like the knights 
Not a whole lot of shields going on, but hopefully the Swordcasters don't take too many spears and can continue to do their job death moving in, causing death, destruction, and mayhem as he is wants to do full speed. Mammoth is still alive. Both Ice Giants are still alive, acting as meat shields, as is their job. But here comes the Chieftains and the Bone Mages. This is a dead Mammoth. Ice Giants still alive. Reaper still alive. Larry in the back, being bomb support, chilling with the Bone Catapult, with the, the Skeleton Catapult. And these Ice Archers are also got chilling with the Skeleton Catapult. Reaper is destroying things. Ice Giants acting as meat shields, continuing to soak up the damage. And swordcasters throwing swords in the back of these poor chieftains and things. Now the cheerleaders are coming to join the fight. And what are they supposed to be doing? Who are they supposed to be cheering for? That's a big question. It seems like Bjorn and Death's army are pushing back the tribal faction. If only they could have given us the answer to the question that we sought. If only they could have told us where to find Helga, then all this death would not be necessary as the ice giant tried to get into the cave. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're too big for that thing. Now our journey takes us here to Japan. Larry goes to the dynasty and gets a fight. I like the storytelling of this guy. Short, sweet, and to the point. Larry has come to the dynasty faction to try and find answers to the missing Helga. But the Monkey King is having none of it. We have Red Jade as well. Multiple Monkey Kings. Apparently there's a monkey triad of King Samurai Giants. Huanchas, Chuko, News, Ninjas, Monks, Samurai. There are all sorts of people here. We're going to fight them, Bob Ross. Bob Ross, what are, you, what are you doing here? Why are you siding with the Dynasty? I guess because you got the, the dragon cards. I guess you're Japanese, Bob Ross. Larry, Benny, Bjorn, and Death chill in the back as their army of catapults, sword casters, and berserkers gets ready to move in in three, two, one, go. Lots of dragon fire. Berserkers going in. Hopefully the berserkers... Oh, some of them jumped over. That's not a good way to jump, berserkers. I want the berserkers to get in on this dragon and prevent him from breathing too much fire because burning units are not very good units. Sword casters, hopefully they dodge the hole and they seem to. Berserkers are in on the depth of the units, but some explosions, firework arrows are causing sword casters to fall down the hole. It seems like a lot of our army is getting completely destroyed here. Sword casters over here and the berserkers have done their job. The berserkers look a little crispy, a little burnt, but still alive. Over on this side, we have more berserkers doing their job as well, fighting Bob Rosses and surviving. Now we have the sword casters against the samurai giants, and that's going to be a bit of a problem. The monks are going down, and now the samurai giants are just giant pin cushions when it comes to the sword casters. Luckily, we do not need to step in. Crow the God does not need to step in because Death's army and Bjorn's army are doing more than enough work. Speaking about them, um, Death... And Bjorn, what are you guys doing over here? You seem a little bit confused. Have you been drinking Larry's potions again? I've been telling you and telling you and telling you, but no one listens to Crow. Don't touch Larry's potions. They're not for consumption. They're not for people. My God, this poor samurai giant. Our story continues as Larry and his friends go to the fields to see if the farmers know where Helga is. But they end up fighting them because that's how this story goes. Everywhere we go, we just fight everybody, guys. This is not my story. I did not write it. But having very much fun doing it. Death and his army of candlestick head people. Candlestick head people. That's my scientific name for them. Are ready to fight the um, Bob Rosses again. I, but, but Bob Ross, weren't you with the Dynasty? I'm really confused why you're here. The Hobbits, the Farmers, the other Bob Rosses, Bob Ross 2.0 the oh my goodness larry has his twin brothers ladies and gentlemen over there you've got larry in here you've got barry terry nary gary and very yes terry doesn't like very doesn't trust very at all not to mention the scarecrows in the back and people on the sides here we go let's see if the candlestick head dudes can do the job in three two one go Hopefully the candle has stick head dudes. Oh my goodness. So many candle effects. Problem is now everybody is on fire. That's a bit of a problem. I don't like the sheer amount of fire going on. Why I wanted those units to die very quickly. And luckily they're done. Now the scarecrows are moving in. This could prove to be a bit of a problem. Death himself is in very tight on the harvesters. Now the harvesters are being shot at by all the candle head people. Death with the huge slash on the harvesters. That was beautiful to watch. Completely knocking them back. Now the farmers are going in. I think our god is going to come in and do a little bit of damage right there. 
Ah, <laughs> goodbye, scarecrows. I mean, we do have god powers. We might as well use them. Boom! Goodbye, scarecrow. Come on over here. Boom! <laughs> ah, yes. I love being a god. I don't get a chance to use it as much. I like having, you know, Bjorn and Benny and Death do their own fighting, but sometimes God needs to step in and remind people who has the power. Barry and Terry going down to Death. The Imposter Brothers are dead and Death. 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 You've been drinking Larry Stock again. Look at you. I see the telltale swirly swirly sign. Stop drinking Larry's potions. Ladies and gentlemen, the worst has happened. It seems that Helga has turned into a Valkyrie, but now Euler is dating Helga. Helga has betrayed us. Helga has betrayed Larry, has betrayed her father Bjorn, and betrayed all of her people just for Euler? And as you can see, there is Helga in red, a Valkyrie, surrounded by Euler, Zeus, and Artemis. Helga, how could you? I, as the god, have a very strong desire to vanquish those four with my own powers, but I won't. I will not do it. Instead, we will destroy this army and allow these guys to do the deed themselves. Let's clear the way a little bit, shall we? <laughs> Eat that random blue army. And now the red army with Larry piping hot can move in. Death moving in. Oh, those sword castles are getting wrecked, but death will not be persuaded. Death will not be dissuaded. Death is dead. Oh, this gentleman, we have a bit of a problem. Um, uh, army's gonna die. Uh, okay. God has to step in. <laughs> Artemis is dead. Zeus is dead. But the betrayer, Euler, is the only one left alive. Larry, I do this one for you. <laughs> Vengeance for Larry. Vengeance is ours. 